Every day, I need to know that I've added to my story. Mainly because I know what it feels like to be a consumer, and what it's like to end my day knowing that I could have done more. Until my junior year, I felt incompetent. I used to feel unsettled, unmotivated, and frankly useless among my community. Now I didn't know why I felt so low and unimportant, but the sensation drove me crazy and I urged to find a reason behind it. The summer following my freshman year, I went on a safari. I don't know if it was seeing animals in their natural habitat, experiencing the African grassland, or learning firsthand about Nelson Mandela, but something inside of me had changed. As if everything I knew before that moment was unimportant, and that every personal experience prior in my life did not matter. Back home, the sentiment stayed with me. I had trouble sleeping, I couldn't be myself. See how effective I was to the rest of the world opened my eyes. Learning about the influence a single person could have on an entire country left me acutely aware of the story I had written up to that point, and the dimension that was missing from that story. The dimension that would allow me to live any kind of legacy during my time in high school and beyond. When I returned that summer, a part of me had changed. Something about my essence as a whole seemed off, as if something in me had died. It was something that needed to die, something that needed to be displaced. Whatever emerged in me after my trip was a more thoughtful, more curious, more reflective self, which gave rise to an important realization. I wanted human relationships to be the heart of my story moving forward, and something about it felt wonderfully urgent. Back home, I wrote myself a letter. I want to contribute to the world and benefit my community in a positive way. I want to help solve global problems and be part of the generation that leaves a legacy onto the next one. I want to stand out from the other 7 billion people living on this planet. The summer following my freshman year, I felt a profound commitment to creating my own legacy. It weighed on me that I was not positively contributing to my environment. So, in the past two years, I've made it my priority to spread goodness in every way I can and to fully engage myself in all sectors of life. I was reminded that small gestures hit a big story, and the bigger story was that human relationships needed to be at the center. Seeing a smile, hearing laughter, or being there for someone when they needed you became my inspiration. Those moments, those fantastic seconds of happiness which seem so menial at times, are in fact so significant. They are powerful enough to leave a legacy. Perhaps more internally, I vouch never to stand by and allow myself to watch the world change without being part of that change. While writing my story, I realize that my identity is not a concrete thing, but wonderfully fluid. It is an ever-changing depiction of my ideas and beliefs. I do not believe that anyone can sum up their identity with a single story, as life is filled with endless stories, and we are continuously writing our own. It is for that reason, why I need to know, I'm adding to my story every day.